Hi there, Dave Rollings here of the London Longsword Academy and today I want to have a look at the change which has been made to the Leon Paul Titan mask in order to conform with some FIE standards on the anchorage for the back of head strap. And I want to have a discussion about whether this means that the mask is less appropriate for HEMA as a result of it. Now initially what we had was on the Titan mask we had these very very simple Velcro straps which were very, very sufficient to the task, in my opinion, particularly as most of us nowadays should be using back of head protectors, which actually anchor your mask to your head, in my opinion, better than the back of head straps. And most people I know actually take the little back of head cup out because this will secure it to your head very, very well. Now, there is a discussion to be made as to whether you could, in fact, put a further strap here lower that came around here to secure it even more securely to your head and I think that is not a bad idea to do. However what has happened in order to conform with this IFIE standard is Leon Paul have put these metal brackets here as you can see here. Now I have to be very very clear that I have not suffered the consequences of these yet but in my opinion to put something on the inside of your mask which can potentially be smashed with a lateral blow into the side of your head is a really really bad design feature. What is inside here should be padding and space, nothing else. We do not want anything sticking out which can be slammed into your ear or into the side of your head. That is a health and safety nightmare in my opinion. So I think in solving one problem, Leon Paul have created something which is much greater. As I say, I feel that the back of head protector actually secures your mask to your face better than the little cup things that we have usually here. So I would be completely happy to see them go on a HEMA mask, make the back of the head a standard feature on everything that we use and anchor it in that way. I don't believe that this is a good and healthy design choice. So really I wanted to use this little video to talk about that, keep that simple point in mind. And I wanted to start a discussion as to is there something that you perceive within fencing masks that are being used for HEMA that makes them inappropriate and things that could be improved. Other things that I think should be fairly standard is to make more padding a standard, more solid padding to keep the mask in place and to size them according to that padding. And I would like to see manufacturers more willing to put more variance in their padding, depth of padding, so that masks are secure for more people. So with good padding, I think you could actually make a mask more comfortable fit for somebody with a slightly different size head. So I think these are discussions that need to be had. This, I thought, has been a really, really bad choice. I'm not impressed by this at all. Uh, so I'd like your feedback. I'd like to see what you think. I don't want to slam Leon Paul for doing this because I understand that they're trying to make people more safe in Olympic fencing from masks coming off. But for HEMA, where you're going to get a good clout in the side of the head, this, I think, is a very, very bad thing. I'd like your feedback and I'd like to hear what improvements you think could be made to back of head protectors, to anchor them to masks, to standard anchorage, and whether you feel that this is a good or a bad idea. Look forward to your feedback. Take care. Bye-bye.